Okay, so we're now having a look at the canopy. This is the passenger side, which is mainly where things like our fridge is kept mm. and uh, pantry and things like that. So we're using a Waco 65 litre upright fridge. And we actually really enjoy having an upright for something different in the back here. It's easy to access. Um, as you'll see, not much happening at the moment, uh, not packed. Things like, uh, we use it as a day fridge pretty well. So uh, lunches, morning teas, uh, afternoon drinks, etc. Um, it's got a small freezer at the top for ice blocks, ice creams. So uh, plenty of room, um, pretty well as a, as a drinks fridge. The unit we're using back here is a drifter setup. Uh, this is like a pantry, massive drawer. It's currently chockers because uh, I've got it packed to the max, ready to go away. So this is where we keep things like uh, lunches and uh, snacks. So uh, that's what that is used for. Above there, we keep uh, extra soft drinks or beer um, in a tub that have got some uh, covers on them. We've been using the MSA covers, which is these guys here. They're thin uh, neoprene, but we've also been using even just normal echo holders, uh, whatever you want to call them in your state. We use those as well, so we just wrap them uh, around the a beer in each one as well. That's a small table in a boot liner bag that uh, works great as a coffee table. Underneath our drawer system, this pulls out as a table, but it's also a workbench. So if we're making lunches, breakfast, etc., you can use it like that. But if I poke my head underneath here, you can see it's actually got legs. So the whole unit comes out and can stand as a free, a free form table. So we use that often for dinner, which is really great. Down the back here is my cupboard that uh, I pretty well use for things like uh, all the cutlery. So I had this uh, canvas bit made at the back, so that's where we hang all of our utensils and that's just been velcroed on. And things in here, you know, just some usual, usual kitchen stuff gear, stuff for washing dishes, a uh, thermos, a couple of glasses, which are cups inside, echo holders for, for drinks, uh, some paper towel. We try to avoid using water as much as possible, so we uh, give a few squirts with dishwashing liquid and then wipe with a paper towel our uh, breakfast and uh, lunch dishes. Uh, things like biscuits are kept in here and coffee cups and plates etc. Um, tea and coffee. What I do like is if I take everything out here there's a false floor underneath which actually goes all the way down to this point here. So I've got really an extra load of storage area right in this back corner and the stuff I keep in there are things like um, I guess like dry flowers, cake mixes, um, pancake mix, uh, anything that needs baking and can hop down the corner there because it doesn't get used every day. So that's basically the passenger side. Let's move around to the rear. This is just a spot here where a gas bottle would normally live or depending if we're traveling remote, we would uh, also use that area for uh, 20 liters of water. That's where the spare wheel hangs. And the same on the other side. That's where the the gas lead, uh, sorry, the gas bottle would sit, which is around about a three kilo bottle. In the back door here, it really depends on what we're doing as to to what goes in the back. Up here, we're keeping uh, chairs at the moment. We're just starting to pack for a trip, so just trying to sort some things out. Underneath, I'm not sure if you can see up here, we've got a whole heap of storage space underneath. Uh, basically, we keep a whole heap of, you know, spares, recovery gear, etc. underneath there in, in some boxes. And back of the door, okay, bit of storage space in there, rubbish bags, uh, fly blanket. See, there's just some sprays and things like that. We normally carry a, um, a rubbish bag on the back of the door as well. On this side here, this is basically, it's like his and hers. This side here is where we keep a range of tools, etc. Mm -hmm. um, drills, uh, angle grinder, you name it, we've got it. Um, this is also the home for all of our 12 volt electrics, so a bundle of buttons up here. If I come that side, you might be able to see it. 12 volt outlets at the rear, um, Anderson plug, etc. 
things we keep in here like our solar blankets, tools, drawers, etc., full of you know tools and stuff in both of those. The beauty of these drawers is that they pull out relatively easy. They're just on nylon nylon runners. And the same as the other side. Okay, this side here has also got a table. So same as before, you can either use it as a bench to work on. And it's also got the, the legs underneath, so it also comes out as a freestanding table as well. And up front here are the main switches for our fridge and BMS. And at the back here, the BMS is actually located right down the other side um, at the front of the, of the canopy. And that's our master switch for electrics. So there you go. That's pretty well the, the canopy in a nutshell. We can change the configuration around as we need to. Uh, the whole drawer unit can come out in about half an hour if we wanted to and you can return the canopy back to just basically an empty shell. So that's it, that's the canopy.